I'm going to show you how to determine the age of an electroless nickel bath. This can be done in two ways, by measuring the specific gravity or by doing a titration for sodium orthophosphite. The specific gravity is a quick approximation, while the titration takes a little longer, but it's more accurate. For the specific gravity method, we will need to use a hydrometer. You can purchase these at any laboratory supply company, such as Fisher Scientific or VWR. They come in many different ranges. For this particular test, we'll be using the range of 1.200 to 1.400 grams per milliliter. Each line represents 0 0.005 grams per milliliter. So all you do is take your bath and pour it into a glass cylinder. and float the hydrometer in the sample. You want to make sure that the hydrometer does not touch the edges of the glass cylinder, that it floats in the center. And you take your reading. For this bath, I'm reading 1.230 grams per milliliter. We have a graph comparing specific gravity to metal turnovers and I've highlighted 1.230, follow the graph over to our line and down. This bath is at approximately seven metal turnovers. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do the titration method to determine your bath age. We're going to take our bath and pipette one milliliter into an Erlenmeyer flask. Twenty milliliters of DI water. And fifty milliliters of two percent sodium bicarbonate. Then we're going to pipette in 50 milliliters of 0.1 normal iodine. And as you can see, the solution will turn dark brown. stopper the solution and we're going to put it in the, in the dark either in a dark drawer or a dark cabinet for 30 minutes. So now 30 minutes have gone by and we have our solution. If you were to take your solution out of the dark after 30 minutes and it would was clear that means there is uh, a lot of orthophosphite in the bath so you would either want to add more iodine or take a smaller sample size. So now you unstopper the flask and we're going to add 20 milliliters of 10% acetic acid. And we are going to titrate to a straw yellow color with 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate. And you'll see as the reaction progresses, it goes from dark to light yellow.
Once you get the straw yellow color, you're going to add one milliliter, approximately, of starch solution. And it turns a dark blue. And we're going to continue titrating with the 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate to colorless. And we're going to record our milliliters, 12.1. So 50 milliliters minus our 12.1 milliliters of sodium thiosulfate times 5.2 divided by our one mil sample gives us 197 grams per liter of sodium orthophosphate. For every um, metal turnover, approximately 30, 30 grams of sodium orthophosphite is generated. So to find out the metal turnovers of your bath, divide your grams per liter by 30. This bath is at 6.6 .6 metal turnovers. If you would like a copy of the specific gravity to metal turnover graph, or the method to determine sodium orthophosphate in an electrolytic bath, please contact our technical department.